hi there folks um here i'm going to create another playlist or course um, about this time statistics so this is i'm going to call this introduction to, the, to statistics and then we're going to use this and study statistics um as an introdu introduction so all of this um handouts or all of this content that i'm talk that i will be talking about will be t or are taken from the handout um, created by dr sweet rose Leonardis. okay so um in this um course or in this playlist in introduction to statistics we're going to um, divide this into chapters and in this chapter um, we're going to call this chapter the first one statistics and the research process so we're going to um, have this um, chapter as in what is the use of statistics um, in, in the in the in the in the perspective or in the point of view of research or what is what is statistics okay in in the lens of research so um, with that with that in mind um, we will be talking about why do we need to study it okay so why do we need to study statistics or why study statistics why why bother okay so there there are a lot of course of of reasons why we study statistics okay um, but I will be presenting here um, only five five of the foremost and the most important um, reasons why we need to study statistics so first of all um, we study statistics to be able to effectively conduct research that's number one number two we study it to be able to read journals or journal articles number three to further develop critical and anal analytical thinking skills that's the third one fourth um, we study it to be an informed consumer okay to be an informed consumer and we study statistics to know when we okay we need when do we need to hire uh, a legit a legitimate statistician okay so we're going to tackle this one by one and briefly discuss this uh, let's start first with the first one so the first one uh, tells us we study statistics to be able to effectively conduct research okay so without statistics okay without statistics it would be very difficult okay it would be very difficult to make decisions based on the data collected from a research project okay so statistics provides us with a tool with which to make an an educated decision okay an educated decision so um, based on this so in order for us to have this correct conclusion so statistics is, is the key actually so a second point about research should be made um, when we talk about statistics so since we're talking about research here so why not talk about this okay so it is extre extremely important okay so we have here educated guess um, it is extremely important going back um, for a researcher to know what statistics they want to use before they even start okay their collection of data um, otherwise data might, that that you have collected if you don't know the correct statistics to be used is going to be wasted okay so it's it's a total loss of data time and money so although you never plan to be involved in research okay uh, though you don't really have a plan to be involved in research actually research finds a way in your, into your life okay so how so in this two simple things so um certainly for example if you decide to continue your education um, that is the correct term for that is you continue your graduate school say your master's or doctoral degree um, involvement in research will result from that decision so you have no choice you should be a research a researcher okay if you're going to continue your education that is in graduate school master's degree um, doctoral degree okay we all need research there okay we should be researchers secondly um research find its way into your life um when you are in the industry okay so we have this internal research in industry so um, more and more workplaces are conducting internal research or part of a broader research study so thus you may find yourself assigned to one of these studies in the future in your in your line of work so that's why we need to study statistics um here okay that's why we need to study statistics second again i have told that we study statistics to be able to read journals okay so most technical journals you will read contain some form of statistics okay so it should contain some form of statistics most technical journals um 
will have this. Usually you will see the statistics in something that we call the results section. Okay, the results. Usually that's in chapter four or chapter five in some in some format. Okay, it's it's at the end part. So it's in the results part. So you will see a lot of statistics there, a lot of numbers. Um, without an understanding of statistics, the information that you will be reading there will be meaningless because you cannot unearth it. Okay, you cannot cannot interpret it. So an understanding of basic statistics will provide you with the fundamental skills necessary to read and evaluate most results in that section. So the ability to extract um, meaning, okay, the ability to extract meaning um, from art journal articles and the ability to critically evaluate research from a statistical perspective are fundamental skills that will enhance your knowledge and understanding in that related coursework. So um, reading journals is a very must okay especially now that we have a lot of shall we call it fake news okay so you know that in journals they really they are really referees to make sure that the that the, that the research are are in okay or, or or uphold to the standards of this kind of journal so journals uh, research in journals um in reputable journals shall i shall make that as an emphasis are are very, the information there are very much reliable. So one must be able to read those journals. Okay, so for the third reason, to further develop critical and analytical thinking skills. So to do well in statistics, one must develop and use formal logical thinking abilities that are both high level and also creative. So the study of statistics will serve to enhance these skills, okay? enhance and develop these skills. Okay, so that's the third one. Um, fourth one um, might be a little bit practical, okay? So why do we study statistics? To be an informed consumer. So like any other tools, statistics can be used or misused, okay? Um, that's a way of life. It can be used or misused. Um, yes, it is true that some individuals do actively lie and mislead you with statistics, okay? More often, however, well-meaning individuals unintentionally report er erroneous statistical conclusions okay so if you know some basic statistical concepts you will be in a better position okay you will be in a better position to evaluate information that is that has been given to you or their information that you have received so if you know these steps you can do the checking yourself and then see if it is indeed true or not okay so that's the fourth one fifth but certainly not the, not the last one we study statistics to evaluate ourselves. Um, do we need a statistician right now or can we do it ourselves? Okay, so conducting research is time consuming and expensive. If you are in over your statistical head, shall we call it statistical head, it does not make sense to risk an entire project by attempting to compute data yourself. Okay, it's, it's not, it doesn't make sense to risk it. Okay. So it is very easy to compute incomplete or inappropriate statistical analysis of one's data. It is also important to have enough statistical information or statistical understanding or savvy to be able to con to discuss and and discuss your project and the data analysis you want to, to, com to be computed with a statistician, with your statistician. In other words, you want to be able to make sure that the statistician is on the right track. So um, you must also be with your statistician when you when you are when you're letting the, when you're hiding one okay so uh, that's it um if 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 the information or analysis is too high for your for your statistical head so um it's better to hire one okay so that's the way we study it okay so that we will know when to hire one so yeah that's it that's the five um prime reasons why we need to study statistics um obviously and indeed there's more um, again, let's read, let's have a recap. We study statistics be to be able to effectively conduct research, to be able to read journals, to further develop critical and analytical, analytical thinking skills, to be an informed consumer, and to know when you need to hire a statistician. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, thank you very much uh, for watching, and certainly there's there will be more videos coming soon. Okay, so thank you.